uh, abortion I want to give some I'd like to give some thoughts my thoughts on the topic of abortion the subject of um, aborting a life uh, due recently to the publicized the spotlight in America on Donald Trump and the states that are winning back the law favoring uh, pro-life uh, which is commendable and right and um, I don't think Donald Trump is uh, completely s sincere but fair play for the man and uh, the victory and uh, highlighting the serious subject of aborting a life and considering all, all the uh, corruption and money that's made from it and the the total disregard of um, values, human family values, moral values because it promotes promiscuity um, it, it wants to be taught in schools um, rather than aborting a life why not what, what about the prevention so um, Donald Trump I don't think he's I think he's favoring the so-called evangelical um, voters and uh, Christians brothers and sisters that uh, um, speak out against abortion and uh, whether they're um, tares or wheat or tares is a uh, another matter but um, I just want to give some uh, in a nutshell um, firstly can anybody create life and the answer is no uh, no matter how sophisticated man gets in with technology uh, the best he can do is uh, replicate what is what has been provided what God has created what the Lord Jesus Christ has uh, created and before I came to know the Lord or be known of the Lord and put my faith in him and I had a completely kind of liberal view really I didn't I didn't really care um, so the Holy Spirit and the grace of uh, Jesus Christ and God the Father changed my heart and mind and uh, in the bigger grand scheme of things in the plan and the purpose of his all of his creations that he died to save only he died to save them and only he alone created them so everything is the Lord's whether, whether people believe or not all is the Lord's it's his creation to do as he wishes and um, no man can create a baby out of only by that the the means which is uh, to procreate and uh, cloning like Dolly the sheep but that's not creating a baby that's just playing Frankenstein but the main argument uh, is uh, that uh, I caught on the American media channels was oh, what about rape now what about incest and rape although that's an awful thing to be afflicted with doing two wrongs won't make it better and my, my argument and it's never mentioned you very rarely hear it mentioned uh, against the argument which is against um, uh, or pro-abortion the argument of well what about people who can't have children why aren't why aren't they um, inclusive in the in the um, adopting the child and the mother for whatever reason can uh, surrogate the the child or perhaps have a a stage where they get to decide what do they you know they might change their mind they might want to keep the child after they've given birth to it uh, who can say that experience will may, may change somebody's heart um, all, all the joy of of childbirth when there is a when it's a happy occasion it is it, 
it is a, the goodness and grace and the ability to feel the expression of life that's God's joy that you're experiencing uh, because you've been given a physical body and the attributes to express feelings and those feelings you feel are from the Holy Spirit they are all good all good is from God uh, but if you're not founded on that goodness you you're not going to value and you've not had um, those joyous experiences and the, you tasted the good in life well then you're not going to appreciate life and who who's behind um, what is behind the, the abor favoring abortion anyway it's, I don't think it's the uh, general public I think the general public's uh, uh, opinions are swayed by careful indoctrination and uh, saturation of rubbish on the media, bubblegum and mammon, sex and uh, ego and idols and lifestyle choices and all the iniquitous um, juice that we're, uh, that the world is, um, that's saturated over the uh, through the mediums, through schools, through popular culture, and it changes, uh, uh, sh slowly shapes people's opinions, putting bad leaders in um, organisations, and after a while that has effect on all the body under it, and that will check, and people get uh, led astray, and uh, they become wishy-washy, and their conscience is dead dead and then they lose sight of of the true value so my argument is why aren't these um, women counselled with a regulating um, body of caring people who want to see that child experience the best life it possibly could and then it could go to parents who would, who would cut their arms off for children so it's just a uh, common sense to vet the right people and then adopt the children and then you wouldn't need to have any abortions and those people who are promiscuous and, and don't consider they just just think that uh, sex is for their their pleasure without any foundation without any uh, love and that without uh, Jesus Christ you're founded on a on the sand and you're you're not going to see you're not going to appreciate the cost of life and the sufferings of Christ and um, his fear in bringing creation into existence and and um, and the only way to save that was to to come to earth and die for, die for all the human race so if you can't appreciate that picture um, and the gift of life and being able to create life through uh, intercourse through union through you know, man and woman then you shouldn't really have children. You, you're not you're not capable. You're not um, you're not equipped. You you're missing the the main value, the main ingredient. And so this um, uh, favouring abortion is just completely wicked. And when you look at all the the Satanism that's denied, and all the um, secret societies that are denied, and all the crime and stuff that's denied you, you don't see that um, component behind the the moving forward of the general opinion so abortion could be dealt with overnight it, you know it's wrong uh, life is um, continuous there's no breaks in life there is um, no period where you can or cut you know where it's right to abort uh, maybe maybe there is if the the child dies and it's causing a problem um but the the pit, the scientists and the medical the brains the thoughts behind it are complete narcissists uh, th those people should be vetted who make regulation decisions that uh, there should be there is a set standard to the value of life lawfully to be to be put forward but it isn't put forward so why don't people put forward the argument well the, wh whether it's rape whether it's incest for whatever the reason and the person is going to it's going to affect their their quality of life where well, it's a bit too late for that the 
the damage is being done why why cause further damage why why can't people um give up that um just go through with it you know bear it because i'm sure it's you're going to feel a lot better than knowing that that child's got a loving life you still suffered the pain and the the, vi the person who's been raped or abused is still going to have that wound um, when you weigh it up, well, well they're either going to have two wounds or one wound that's been less than slightly and it, it, that, that person will be enabled to heal by offering their child and, and if they change, you can still keep that person, the door open if they want to be inclusive. It's just a matter of evaluating every single individual circumstances and, and working what's right within that framework of adopting the child to a surrogate parents who are going to love it and care for it and raise it rightly. Uh, that's my thoughts on abortion I, and I want to close it in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.